Good morning and welcome to school today. It is Wednesday, the 1st of September, so it's, we're into our first day of September already. My goodness, that's a lot. Let's get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. That's it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty, let's see what we are having for, whoops, that's my lunch menu. Let's see what we're having for lunch today. Today we're having chicken and waffles, interesting. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, we're having tater tots, oops, uh, garden salad, fruit, which is diced peaches and baked cinnamon apples, and I think that's it. And uh, Miss Lee got here to do the uh, state song, so let's stand up again and do my old Kentucky home. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home, tis summer the people are gay. The corn tops ripe and the meadows in the bloom, while the birds make music all the day. The young folks roll on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by hard times comes a knocking at the door, Bid my old Kentucky home good night. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home far away. All righty. Let's see who is celebrating a birthday today. September birthdays. Today is Kamari Anderson's birthday. It's also McKenna Gregory's birthday and Milo Simpson's birthday. And that's all of those guys. Remember that our manner of the week is if you don't want something, please just say, no, thank you. Okay. Yesterday, all the cafeteria ladies bragged on you at breakfast um, because everyone was saying, no, thank you. So th I appreciate that a whole, whole lot. Um, quick reminder though, for tomorrow or any day, if you don't want breakfast, say no thank you and go on, but you can't come back and get it, okay? Because we only make a certain number of breakfasts and so they're all often gone. You should probably pick it up first thing if you're going to get your breakfast, okay? Um, a quick reminder also about poppets. I know those are the latest thing. I know they are super, super cool. I bought one myself anyway, but those need to stay in backpacks during the day and we are not trading them, okay? Because if you came to school with a back with the poppet your parents got you or your aunt or your grandmother or you bought yourself, that's the poppet you need to go home with, all righty? So no trading of poppets. Don't have them out unless your teachers have given you permission. Um, and the, um, car line folks especially, we're not trading any of those poppets, okay? All right, and we don't ever hit people with them. We don't hit with anything. So I saw that the other day and thought, oh my goodness. Um, and just another reminder, please, to clean up after yourself in the cafeteria. If you drop something, pick it up. That should really be a life rule for you. If you drop it, pick it up. All righty, let's see. I've got some. Congratulations to Miss Miller's class. They've completed their third red oak chart. All right. And congratulations to Miss Helton's class. They've completed their first red oak chart. Congratulations, not congratulations. I don't know what that was about. All right, and then I've got several shout outs. Um, one from Miss Miller for Lucas Owamarain. Lucas heard another student say that he had no one to play with or pl on the playground, and so he kindly offered to share his soccer ball. Thank you, Lucas. I appreciate that a lot. And then these folks from Miss Wicks's room used a great strategy to determine who would be the scribe for a project. And that was Tiffany Long, Atticus Thomas, and Carter Murphy. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate that teamwork that you had there. Um, teachers, if you'll check your email this morning, we're short several subs. There'll be no third to fifth intervention today because both of those folks are out. Um, and if you have music today, I'm going to need you to check in uh, with the music room first because Mr. Tall is also out and Mr. Smith has been super helpful um, and taking two groups if we at the times that we need to take two groups. So. 
All righty. Oh, this is so funny. Yesterday, Eleanor gave me a joke, and it's the same joke as in my joke book today. Ooh, that's very doo -doo -doo -doo. Why was the math book so sad? Because it had so many problems. Oh, and teachers, stop the joke for right now. Remember that the rooster whistle will be here this morning. Um, I think they're going to be in the parking lot, and they should actually be ready kind of to go now. So if you want some coffee, have, uh, go on out and have some of that. So um, how do bees get to school? They take the school buzz. <laughs> Why did the student keep a flashlight in his lunchbox? So he could have a light lunch. Um, what kind of snack does the computer teacher like? Microchips. <laughs> uh, why did the sloppy student get on his, what? What did the sloppy student get on his math test? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. That doesn't make any sense. If that makes sense to you, let me know. Where does third come after fourth grade? Only in the dictionary. <laughs> I like that one too. All right, say the Red Oak expectations with me. <clears throat> Excuse me, respect ourselves others in our place, expect to learn, do our best, own our behavior, always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves and that you are always, always kind to each other here, there, and everywhere, okay? That's really what I want our Red Oak folks to be known for. And remember, we never put our hands, our feet, our poppets, our notebooks, anything on anybody else. We don't hurt people at school. Have a great day. Do your work and do it well. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.